oh my god i woke up so late so we're doing speedy get ready with me for school i was actually doing ah, i was doing so good this week but obviously i have to fail it near the end plus i need to leave earlier than usual like today great okay we need to move fast i can't talk about random crap and get something because i need to it's currently quarter two it's not seven eight and i need to leave at ten to eight because i need to leave earlier like i said and you know i'm late late all of my skincare I feel bad but it's fine also I got my nails done yesterday because um I have something really exciting on the weekend and I always get them done anyway so and I always get french tips because school yeah so. this is so bad I never have never have time in the mornings plus I need to pack my pee kit because I have pee first period and then I don't know what else I have to make physics I hate physics with all my core but it's the one I always do the best in but like I hate it and for some reason, I always have my makeup so good that I'm rushing, so that's a plus. And hopefully, I didn't just jinx it because that would actually be bad. And, like, you know what's funny? I set my alarm for quarter to six. I wake up, go across my room, and turn it off, and then go back to bed. What's the point of that? What's the point? I think it's because I'm just so disorientated. I'm like, no, we're not doing it. So, that's why I'm always late because my alarm is finished going off hours ago. And it's not like I even press snooze, I press her damn stop. Whatever. I've been late from the very beginning, every single day, because I just have so much to do in the morning, and like, I always do it before my makeup, which is stupid, but it's fine. That's just me now. If I'm not late, then there's something wrong with me, because <laughs> it's rare that I'm not late. Rare. Okay, but makeup is actually looking so good. Fingers crossed, it stays like that till the end. <laughs> And I do some highlight in it. Okay, I have two minutes. Right, we're doing okay. Doing okay. I feel like if I would have done skincare, then I would be even later. So, okay. Okay, it's looking good. I actually love putting highlight on my nose. It looks so cute. Okay, I'm going to quickly set my face now. And then do mascara. And I never, blah, 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 blah. I never do anything to my eyebrows because I feel like they don't need it. And I look fine. So, never do anything. Alright, I'll actually cry if my mascara, like, spreads on my eye because that's just gonna set me back years. Was. It's just getting worse and worse. Okay, it's fine. I feel like I look better without mascara, but whatever. That was a full-on trick. Don't know why it took me so long to do it, but it's fine. I say it's fine. But yeah, I'm already. I need to leave in one minute. I actually did it. Okay, I'm gonna try to fix my mascara in the last few minutes. Hey guys, get ready to school. Okay, I look awful, so please don't mind that. But I literally cannot be bothered for school today. <sighs> but I have to go in because I've got my dance assessment, which is like a group assessment thing. But yeah, so it's like a group little thing, so I obviously like need to be there because otherwise I can't do their assessment. To be fair though, I think Mondays are all right. I mean, Thursday. Oh, I'm too tired for this. But I always like, think that it's a really bad day, but then when I actually get there, like, it's not even that bad. So I've got music first period, which is good. And I've got ICT, which is good. And I've got French, which is sometimes all right, but it's sometimes like, really boring. Because we've got a new teacher, and she's a bit clueless, so it's like sometimes like really fun, but. Sometimes it's really boring. Then I've got history, history, which I'm pretty sure I've got an assessment. But like, I didn't need to revise for anything. Like, I don't know, but it's an open book apparently. Oh, I'm a bit scared of that. Um, then I've got. Oh yeah, then I've got dance, which I'm doing my assessment. And then I've got library. Library is quite boring, but it's not like. The worst also i haven't got my jumper on because like i think it's still downstairs in my pee bag so i'll get that when i go down there also is it just me right or it felt like summer at school yesterday and oh my god it was so good like i actually loved it like i just can't wait for summer i'm so excited but yeah because we have like double pe last period yesterday and it was just like really fun and then like i don't know we just all of us didn't have our jumpers on which like obviously isn't a big deal but like I don't know. Just having like pink shirts on feels like summer for me. Because like when it's winter we all have our jumpers on and then when it's summer we all 
we'll have our pink ones on. But it's because it was the first day of spring yesterday, I think, so that's probably why it felt like summer. Yeah, anyways, that's... Well, I didn't really do any makeup. That's my skincare done. Thanks for watching. Bye. The return of the... Oh, wait, no, wait. You're kidding. He didn't just say what I think he did, did he? And Dr. Dre said... Nothing, you idiots. Dr. Dre's dead. He's locked in my basement. Uh -huh. Feminist women love him and them. Chicka, 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 slim daddy. I'm sick of him. Look at him walking around, rapping his you-know-what, flipping the you-know-who. Yeah, but...
Yeah, hey guys, get ready for me for school, except I'm not in a great mood because I've got experience today, um, which is really boring and I miss really good lessons because of it. So, yeah. But I am actually excited though because Top Fest is literally in two days. I literally cannot believe it. Like, it's gone so fast. And I've seen some people thinking I'm just going on the Saturday, but I'm going for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So I'll be there both days. Okay, I'm going to use my very speed do drops and I need to keep tucking these behind my ears. Um, but hopefully they pump out. I know it looks like it's barely there, but I've got what could come out and then I'm going to use my Brilliance Bronzing Drops. Oh my God, guys, I'm so happy. It's like actually spring now because at exactly six in the morning, um, I looked out my window and the sun, there was a sunrise. Like, Norm, like it used to be dark at six o'clock so yeah i'm happy about that um okay now i'm gonna use my glow sp pump up moisturizer and i don't know whether it's just me but i, I feel like that has given me a, a really good tan um anyways yeah also i actually need to hurry up because i need to do my english homework which is due tomorrow and yeah well i've done most of it i just want to finish it off this morning because i cannot be bothered after school Right, I'm gonna brush my brows up with a spoolie. I, um, I don't know whether I'm gonna do makeup or not. I'm very indecisive. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna use my Laneige lip mask in Sweet Candy. Okay, I think I'm not gonna do makeup because there's not even a point. But I need to do my lashes so I don't look bold. Okay, I'm just using my YSL mascara. Okay, this is all the makeup I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna spray my Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals. All right, bye guys. This is actually the earliest I've woken up all week and I'm not complaining because right now it's 10 past seven and I've been awake for about an hour now watching The Vampire Diary. So it's like a win-win. Like There is actually benefits of waking up early as well as me not being... Oh, as well as me not being moody. Because when I wake up early, I'm just not moody until like I'm in school for ages and I'm absolutely knackered. But apart from that, I'm not that moody because I just like I've started fresh. I woke up early, but I've been watching the Vampire Diaries. I'm about to start episode ten, so I want to get ready really, really quickly so then I can watch that. But obviously, I've got my heatless curls in, and I honestly think I honestly think I look better with my heatless curls in than when I take them out. I just think this is like a DIY facelift. But anyway, all of this, all of this, I have a maths, I have a maths test today, today, and I'm stressing out. I literally went to bed so late. I went to bed at like twelve or like I'm probably around like half twelve around that. Like just because I was just up revising. Like I just I better do well on this test. I'm not even being funny or anything. I just need to do well on this test, and I'm aiming for at least a seventy percent. Oops. But I'm going to give you a little debrief of my day yesterday. So all, all I mainly remember is that we had cater and we made scones. We had to put raisins in them and I don't like raisins. And when you put raisins in the oven, they go really big and fat and they taste weird. So I picked all of those out. But apart from that, my scones tasted really delicious. And also yesterday, can someone tell me how I got four lates out of five lessons? I don't think I've ever had that many lates, but for each late mark we get, we get a five minute extension. And a lot, so obviously I had a 20 minutes, so I was like to my tutor, yeah, I can't do that. And she was like, why not? And I was like, because I need to get home. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing about that extension, but I'm going to find a way around it. I honestly don't know how I, ma how, how I managed to be late to that many things. In my full defence, I have been like limping around school because I got new shoes, right? First of all, they're really, really cute. I just think they're really, really cute. But the other thing is they are painful. They are so painful. The whole back of it is just sticking in my foot. Like I actually had to go to street reception and ask for some plasters to shove at the back of my ankles. It was so, so painful. So I was just limping around school. And I had to beg my English teacher to not give me a late mark. And what did she do? she gave me a late mark and i explained to her that i've been limping around but she didn't care also how cute is my necklace it's from like by meh shake or something like that i don't know i'm looking very 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 puffy but it's officially one week until i have my half term i break up next thursday and i'm actually so excited like tomorrow in a week I will be waking up and there'll be no school and I will be free and I just can't wait. This week has gone by really fast. How is it already Thursday? I mean, I'm not complaining because then it's the weekend. But then the weekend's going to fly by and I don't want this weekend to fly by. I'm going to have so much fun. Alexa, 
Stop. I actually love my Alexa. She plays Good Days by Scissor every morning to wake me up. It stresses me out a bit because I don't know how to turn it off. And I don't want, like, actually, I'm not complaining. I love Scissor, but it's a bit stressful, you know, her blaring at my ears at first thing in the morning. Okay, if I want to get an episode of Vampire Diaries, then I need to be done in five minutes. And I think I will be, you know. I don't think I'm going to take that long to get ready. I don't even know what lessons I have today. But yesterday, we also had a sub for science that was really good. And our sub was my favourite teacher over our history teacher. So, I didn't mind. And that's, that's my best mate. She's just like, I feel like she's one of those mates that makes you, like, actually want to focus in school. I mean, I did work. I did work. And I didn't sit there and talk majority of the time. So, it was all good. Is it just me who actually gets the ick when people say the word yap in real life? Like, like I'll say it over messages and all of that, but the minute someone says it in real life, I actually get the ick. Like, my English teacher was having a go at us this week. She doesn't like us very much. She gave literally the whole entire class a detention for lunch today, which is just jolly, but she doesn't like us very much. And she just got, like, she's like, she, she hmm, hmm, I don't know what to say. But to say the least, she was literally screaming that we all don't stop yapping. And she just kept saying the word yapping and I was just, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I just can't take the word yapping seriously in real life. And I'm getting the ick right now because I'm saying it. So I asked myself, okay, that is definitely nowhere near my shade, but I'm experimenting. I'm a little scientist. Come on then. Gosh, Layla. Gosh, soz guys. I need to stop saying soz. I've got an obs I've got a new obsession with the word soz. Like it's actually just stuck in my head and I don't know why. Can you come off of my hand please? Thank you very much. Need to get you onto my face. There. Okay, it needs to be done in two minutes because then it'll be 20 past and then I'll have it exactly because each episode's 40 minutes long. So now 40 minutes and then we we'll leave at 8.20 anyway so it's all fine. Oh yeah, so yesterday I had my hair in a high ponytail for school, right? Um, and also I took mousing because if I have a high ponytail, if it goes like unslicked, then I can just re-slick it. So one of my boy mates, he wanted some mousse, so then I squirted some, and I kept giving him more, then accidentally I squirted the mousse all over him, and it was really funny, I was giving other people mousse. Then a teacher came up to me, fully snatched my mousse out of my hand, and I was like, that's a bit rude. And keep in mind, this mousse is a whole whopping £2.80 from Boots. So... I'm not very happy about that and I want to know where she's put my mousse because I'm very angry. I give up with these eyebrows, they're stressing me out. Okay, I'm going to do my eyebrows before I leave because I actually cannot be bothered to do this right now. It's too stressful and I'm being too rushy. I'll literally have 10 minutes when I'm done watching it anyway. I'm done. Bye! Get ready with me while I tell you things influencers could never influence me to buy makeup edition. First one would have to be color corrector. I feel like you might as well just do skincare to get rid of your redness and stuff instead of like... A color corrector next would definitely be a skin tint because just don't get the hype about them because there is other alternatives like foundation and skin tint doesn't really give you enough coverage and especially for that price oh my god it's dripping down my mouth though <laughs> next would be concealer because i think if you get like a good eye cream and stuff then like it'll probably cover up your dark circles my next one i feel really strongly about this definitely bronzing sticks because if you think about it paying like 20 to 40 dollars on a bronzing stick and you could just go outside for free and you would get tan and like bronzed up next would definitely be like a lip or cheek tint like who doesn't want to save your money and get like two in one mostly that one i can't even come up with an excuse like actually like even that i sound like that Tail. Next is a cheek tint because why would you want to look like you're blushing all the time? Like, why don't you just like pinch your cheeks or something and then you'll get rosy cheeks and stuff? I think it's just a huge waste of money. Next one would be the Gavinci powder or Givenchy. $60 for a powder. Yeah, no, you're never going to catch me do that, even if it's the best powder in the world. Next is setting spray. Like, why are you putting water on your face? Another one is eyebrow gel because I think it's just unnecessary when you could just buy a spoolie and brush your eyebrows up. This one is insane. This is a 24, just kidding, that's not it. Another one is the Shishido eyelash curler. $24 for an eyelash curler. Are you kidding me? Just go get one from like CVS that will make your eyelashes fall in two seconds. I don't like mascara because like it just takes away from our natural beauty you know this whole video i feel like i sounded like one of those bots like you know those like brands that are like reasons why you should never get our mascara they just make your lashes too long 
and you're like, okay, I won't then. I honestly can't finish this video because it's kind of icking me out. That cookie highlighter, bro, that one, I could never buy that. You want to look like a highlighter all day? Hey guys, I'm about to go. And yeah, that's it. Peace out. You think this shit's a game? Well, you were just my pawn. If my homie got a girl, tell his ass to put me on. If I said I want your bitch, baby, I get what I want. Your girl tastes nice, I know the spots to turn her on. And, and if you give me face, better do that shit right. And if that says good, you could probably spend the night. I got that good pussy, yeah, you know that. I am literally so excited to try this. So this is the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter and I feel like this gives Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter vibes. I picked this up in Sephora when I was in Dubai. I went a little bit crazy in Sephora because I was so excited. So yeah, this was one of the things I picked up and I thought I'd do a little review of it. I got this in the shade 3. I feel like this will be a really nice shade for me because it's like a little bit darker than my skin tone so it'll make me look nice and bronzy but it's not too much. I haven't actually seen that much about this so I don't really know what it is but it says it's a multi-use highlighter. But for me, I feel like this is something that I'd use in place of a foundation. Okay, let's just get started. So this is £45, which is pretty spenny, but I mean, it's Dior, so you can kind of expect it to be expensive. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly read out what it says on the Dior website about it. So it says, it's a hybrid of skincare and makeup, delivers 24 hours of hydration, it's multi-purpose, it can be worn on bare skin to bring out a natural glow before or mixed with foundation to boost radiance or applied in touches after foundation to highlight areas of the face. Okay, let's finally put some on my face. I'm gonna work this into a dense brush and then just pat it into my skin. So I feel like just like the Charlotte Tilbury one, it's not gonna give like a coverage, but it's just gonna, oh, oh my God. Look at the glow. Oh, yes. Love it. Just going to obviously add a really nice glow and just be a nice base for the rest of the makeup. <gasps> that is so pretty. I'm just going to do this half of my face first so you can see the difference between with it and without it. I really like this shade on me as well. I'm glad I got that shade. Okay, so here is without it. And then here is with it. Do we see the difference? She's pretty. Here's a proper close-up so you can really see my skin. This is back camera on my iPhone 15, so you're really seeing everything. <laughs> She's pretty gorgeous. I do feel like this is a little bit more like metallic-y than the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know if that's just me. Maybe a little bit more like, not shimmery, just a bit more metallic -y. But I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Like, it's not like I don't like it. I really do like it. I think that's made my skin look really nice. This type of product is one of my absolute favourites, though. So, like, there was kind of no doubt that I was going to like it. Like, the Charlotte Tilbury one, but also, like, the e.l.f. one, the Maybelline one. I literally love them all. It is my favourite, like, replacement of foundation ever. So, here is how it is looking all over my face. As I said, it doesn't give you coverage. It's just, like, a nice, evens out your skin tone, gives you a really lovely glow. And this type of product is always just a really nice base for, like, my concealer, bronzer, and everything else I want to put on top. So far so good i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'll be back to show you what it's looking like okay here is the rest of the makeup done i'm not gonna lie when i was doing the rest of my makeup i was looking at my skin in the mirror and i was like oh my god this looks amazing <laughs> i feel like the glow is still shining through quite nicely too like even after powdering my skin is still glowing so nicely okay i am a big fan of this i really like it so if you are looking to splurge and want to treat yourself to some makeup i would recommend this it's so beautiful but then so is the elf one so is the maybelline one so is the charlotte tilbury one they're all just such me products so i kind of knew i was gonna love this so yeah if you are wanting something like this but can't really justify the price completely understandable the elf one i do absolutely love as well you'll definitely be seeing her again in my videos because i thoroughly enjoy enjoyed using her <laughs> let me know if you enjoyed this because i don't really do like singular product reviews but if you enjoyed it i will definitely do some more so give me some product recommendations in the comments and i can maybe review them but anyways thank you so so much for watching i love you so much and i'll see you soon bye hey guys get ready with me for school i'm actually standing up while filming this today because my chair is covered in shit there's so much random stuff on it that i cannot be bothered to move so we're just gonna stand. But it's six days until I leave for the UK, so I'm getting so excited. Did you guys the other day what like content you want to see over there? And most of you said like vlogs, like daily vlogs. So I'm gonna try my very best the whole time while I'm over there to post a vlog every day, but that might not be possible. <laughs> Let me know in these comments if that's what you want to see because I'm gonna try my very best because I was initially gonna start a YouTube channel for it, but I've decided not to. I really want to start YouTube, but I just feel like at the moment I don't have enough content ideas for YouTube. So I'm going to think about it a little bit longer and then maybe start it up. This week I've had a bit of struggles with my skin around this area, but it's starting to clear up, which makes me very happy. The thing that makes me extremely worried is the fact that I live in Australia, right? It's always hot. But at the moment I've been wearing long sleeve, long pants because I've been cold. 
and it's like 20 degrees what am i going to be like in the uk i think i'll be fine i think it's just because it's been summer for so long in australia the littlest bit of coldness is like getting to me but it's warming me up no it's yeah it's warming me up for the coldness i don't know if any of that made sense but hopefully it did i have a lot of shopping i need to do for the uk and i'm gonna do that saturday and sunday my eyebrows done on saturday and i am too excited for that i don't know if you can tell but they are well overdue you always ask me like why don't you do your eyebrows yourself like just pluck them in between like when you get them done i do not trust myself anywhere near my eyebrows because they are so naturally uneven like if if you know me in real life they are so uneven i have naturally one lifted brow and one like dropped brow it's actually one of my biggest insecurities so my very talented brow artist is currently in the process of trying to even them out which i thank her so much i used to just go to a place in carousel like that does your eyebrows for like 20 dollars and ever since going to an actual like brow artist you can really see the difference in my opinion I getting them laminated this time so we will film the whole thing and i will get that posted so you guys can see the process I'm gonna end up posting this after school. I'm actually going to Alex's after school, for anyone wondering. To answer our questions about the other day, if Alex remembered it was our anniversary, he did. I run over to school camp and they didn't have their phones, so I was like, is he gonna remember? But he did. I'm gonna be away for our, oh shit. Uh, be away for our one and a half year, which isn't so big, but we missed out on celebrating our one year because he flew out that day so actually fingers crossed we can spend our two years together mascara is pretty decent today this size better anyway i'm all ready so i hope you guys have an amazing day